Alrighty, everybody. Welcome back. Another stream coming at you from Q Sports Live. Welcome to it. We are live for the 580 and under $500 entry fee. 40 players making their way to the pool hall today. My name is Grant. I am one of your hosts sitting beside, of course, the one and only Mr. Ryan Epp. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Welcome back to Q Sports Live, everybody. We are in for a weekend. We are underway. Chris Jackson, Roman. I'm not even going to bother trying to pronounce that because I will butcher that last name. Yep, I can't even do it, but this is Roman breaking anyway. Yes. A couple balls down. So $500 entry fee, 40 players. $20,000 prize pool, first place, 6000 500 bucks. Not too bad. Sign me up. Yeah. Right? The 580 under showing us how it's done. I'm doing good, Brian. How are you guys? What's going on, Brian? And again, welcome back, everybody. You know what to do from here. We will be live all day today, all day tomorrow. I'm bringing you all the action. Some special announcements uh, kind of coming up throughout the uh, throughout the stream. So I'll start off with the first one first. If there is a difficult shot, I will determine which shot that will be. And uh, one of the sponsors will be sponsoring that shot. If the shot is made, that player will win $50 cash. We'll also open that up to the viewers that... Uh, once that shot has been determined, if the shot was made, the very next person to comment that has the share badge on their name will also win 50 bucks. Uh, I believe, Rob, the bracket is on challenge, but I will find out. And I will let you know. If not, we'll try to take a picture of it when we post it yeah. at some point. Yeah, absolutely. But I'm pretty sure it's on Challenge. Of course, this uh, this whole event uh, was put in place and uh, organized by Warren Venny and Mark Map Attack. And when they made the announcement for the $500 entry fee, this tournament filled up in 24 hours. Yep, yeah, that's crazy. I didn't, 580 and under, I didn't think he'd get 10 guys sign up. Yeah. And instead, he got uh, 40. he got 40. They're showing us uh, how how this is all done, and it really does go to prove my point that as you get higher up in pool and you you start to to go into those uh, you know higher Fargo rated tournaments and so on and so forth, even into league, people always say, "Oh, there's no money," it's because we don't add money, yep. right? If you add the money, there's going to be money to be won, and the 580 and under, they're showing us how it's done. And Chris is from BC here, so he's traveled to come play. Yes, we've got some from BC, we've got some from Saskatchewan, Edmonton. lots from Calgary, Edmonton, uh, some players in the room. Sandy Badger came down from uh, from Edmonton. Uh, she would be my uh, my pick as one of the front runners, uh, but there are virtually anybody has the ability to take the uh, take the first place prize. Lan Fong, uh, who else we got in the room? Kelly Lydiard, McLanwares, uh, Dewey's in the house. Well, the nice thing, uh, Ben DeWolf. A lot of these guys watching aren't going to have seen these guys before. Yeah, of course. A lot, unless a lot. There's quite a few of these guys played in the CCS events and stuff that we've streamed, the bigger tournaments and stuff like mm -hmm. that. But you're, it's it's nice to get away from the same 20 guys you see all the time from yeah. Calgary here. Yeah, I agree. And these guys can shoot. Oh, for sure. Steve Ke uh, Steve Kariakakis in the yeah. house. Um, James Hornby. Uh, the list goes on and on and on. Yeah. It's and uh, the Wolf playing on the other table beside yeah. us. It goes on and on and on. So the 580s showing us how it's done. Yeah, Scott, it's all based on their Fargo rate, and they... They were taking check and Mark was checking the Fargo rate up until this yep, this week. Absolutely. So if you'd went like um, 
I, I forget who Martin, somebody we were supposed to have on the stream to mm -hmm. start. He was at 579. 579, yeah, one under. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, his Fargo, and I mean, it could change based on all the players you've changed. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, it, you would have got a full refund, but if yep. you went over that 580 even this week, you're out. Yep. Absolutely. And we'll so, yeah, Rob, the, the Fargo rate is actually a, a worldwide ranking system for player skill level. Yeah, we'll get the Fargo's yep. up beside your names here. Yeah. I just, uh, I, I got no more room but beside Roman's name. We'll look him up so we can tell you anyway. Yeah. Give me a sec. Yeah, I can do that actually right now. So uh, we are also live, guys, on Facebook as well as YouTube. So if you have any comments, feel free. Questions, answers, especially answers. We like those around here. Answers are always a good thing. Sorry, guys. Sorry for the signs. Just looking <laughs> up. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm looking. I can't find my Fargo app. But <laughs> oh, there's a lot of Chris Jacksons. Wow. Uh, BC 527 yep. for Chris Jackson. Uh, what happens if they're play during the tournament takes them over 589. Uh, once the tournament has started, your Fargo rating is established uh, at that. So once you've entered the tournament, you're good to go. But up until the start of the tournament, if you did go over the 580, you were out. Well, and you have to have an established Fargo too. Correct. Do you want to look up Roman? I can't yeah, Fargo's sure. working on my phone. Yeah. I can do that. And, uh, of course, Ryan, want to thank you for coming down. No problem. Sitting in. For those that haven't heard, we did uh, reach an agreement with Ryan. And uh, he is moving on to bigger, badder, and better things for himself. Why don't you uh, uh, let everybody know what you got going on, Ryan? I know that uh, you've got well, yeah, uh, a new page and things happening for yourself. Yeah, well, yeah, I sold my shares to Ben and Grant and... Um, I still will be streaming CCS events to all their major championships. Um, but, yeah, I, over the summer here, started up a Crown Land Camping Alberta Facebook page just to find some new camping buddies and stuff, and it's gone freaking crazy. We've got six, almost 61,000 members now Oof. in that page. So, I What's the name of that page? Crown Land Camping Alberta. There you go. I started it up the end of... Uh, April, and it's gone absolutely insane. I've yeah, I watched uh, watched the the numbers keep climbing and climbing and climbing. Yeah, we we're growing at one point almost a thousand a day. Oof. And uh, yeah, I've done twelve media interviews, TV, radio, newsprint, all for it. I think the news now in Alberta, anybody that they got a question about anything to do with Crown Land, they seem I'm the guy. Because <laughs> I, I did, I think I've done twelve, and I turned down probably eight or nine. Good yeah, heavens. Good. good heavens. And health-wise, you're good? Getting a lot, lot better, yeah. Still getting better, so. Yeah, there was uh, there was a time period there where uh, things looked not so good. Well, no, we got everything sort of straightened out over Christmas, New Year's I spent in the yeah. hospital, hospital. And, uh, no, we're back to doing really well, so. Good. So, uh, for Roman, his uh, his Fargo rating is 552. But nonetheless, uh, I needed some uh, some technical assistance today, so uh, Ryan was more than uh, more than able to come down and help us out, get that uh, set straight. Yep. And we appreciate it. Oof. Nice try from Chris. Very nice try. Yeah. Ryan's mic level is a bit low. Let us know, guys. Is it? Yeah. We can, sure. yeah, we can certainly uh, bounce things up here. Yeah, and I'm, well, I'm trying to talk a little quieter too, because I'm sitting sort of out on the edge, well, closer to the yeah, we players can, uh, here too. So we can certainly up the volume if uh, if that works for you guys. 
Don't want to blast this too much, though. Not out of the room, anyway. No. Yeah, and everybody, any of the viewers, I guess, if you guys want to keep in contact with me at all, send me a friend request, send me an inbox message. Indeed. So Roman put that 13 ball in a rather precarious position. Not really in a good spot there, so going to have to find a way to develop that, perhaps off the uh, 12 ball sitting down on the bottom of the rail. Going to have to find a way to get there. So perhaps you put the, uh, is that the 15 ball? I'm not wearing my glasses. I should have brought my glasses. That is the 13, is it 13 you shooting? I hate the Cyclops colors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think here's his opportunity. Um, I would almost play that 12 ball, kind of break into that 213 mess. Going to have to put a, a lot of left-hand spin on that two ball. Oh, no, looking live, he's got way too much angle to try that. Yeah, no. So perhaps you take the 11 first, then the 12, and leave the 10 ball as your uh, shot after you break into the cluster. What's going on, Kevin? Oh, he tried to dig right now. You know, if that uh, 14 ball goes, he's sitting pretty good. He's sitting pretty good. Let's see if we can find a way to get you in, show you what he's looking at. Oh, really nicely done. Oh yeah, he's got that. Really nicely done. This is a tough shot here though. You gotta draw back just a couple inches. Charlie tuning in from New Zealand. Or draw it right back past the, is that the five, what is that five ball there? Mm-hmm. What do you do, try to draw into the window or draw it all the way back? I actually, depending, I'm gonna look live, I actually go forward. He's got enough angle, he can go forward two rails and then back up behind the four ball. There's just too many things that can go wrong if you try to draw. Uh, he got all right. I think he can get by the, the four and hit the 12 or he's got option on the 10. Although ideally you want the 10 last to set yourself good on the eight. Uh, if you scratch on the break, is it ball in hand anywhere on the table? Yes, it is. You can play two stop shots here and get to the eight ball. So they are playing BCA rules here. And also, guys, if you're just tuning in, uh, help us out, hit that share button. There's going to be a, a couple of times throughout the, uh, throughout the day where I'm going to at, uh, attempt to give away some cash. How that's going to work is if I see a shot on the table that is a rather difficult shot, uh, if that player makes the shot, uh, I'm going to give the, uh, the player 50 bucks. And uh, once that shot has been determined and made, the next viewer that comments that has that share badge over their name they will also get 50 bucks. How's that for Sounds tuning good. in to watch a free stream? Yeah. Uh, it's been around for this too, Tyler. He is uh, playing across the way. He's over at the hidden spot, the uh, Barry Huey Memorial is- uh, Dave Senior. Or sorry, Dave Senior, yes. Dave Senior Memorial is happening today as well. Square in the match, one apiece. And of course, we got to give a shout out to everybody that makes this possible for the live stream guys. Mitch Map Attack, if you happen to be in Calgary and looking for a new or used vehicle, make sure you go give them a call. And I've got that poster just a touch big, so I'm going to shorten that up a little bit so you can see the number. Just like that. Give them a call, 403 863 4122. Numerous years experience, he will get you set up with what you're looking for. Yeah, I'm not sure if Mark's got it on uh, Challenge or not, Rainier. We'll, uh, they may not have uploaded it yet. Um, usually, uh, Stephanie is here somewhere, uh, and usually when she's involved, it's either on uh, on Challenge 
or CompuSport. It looks like they are got a laptop over there with the draw sheet, so I'm, yeah, I'm guessing they don't have it, it typed out yet. Yeah, it's just not live yet. And of course, we are live at the Leather Pocket, Calgary, Alberta, Canada. If you are just tuning in, this is the 580 and under Fargo rated tournament, $500 entry fee per player. There are 40 players, $1,000 added, puts it around a $20,000 or $21,000 prize pool. First place going to walk away with 6500 bucks. Nice chunk of change. Not bad for a weekend's worth of work. No, no. There we go. Kevin Buchanan putting the link up. I like that idea of the toughest shot. Yeah, something new. I need just come up with that this morning. You need to do that next time I play because I'm sure I can win that <laughs> for sure. <laughs> well, and I when put I myself in some pretty tough spots. <laughs> well, and when I was uh, when I was announcing that this morning, I said, "Look, I'm not encouraging bad play, right? But if you do happen to pull off uh, uh, a tough shot, uh, you'll be rewarded for it." So make sure you're 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 tuned in. Uh, we will be live today, live tomorrow. I'm going to give away uh, the difficult shot um, or the sponsor shot, I'll call it, until I can come up with a better name. Um, I'm going to do one today and one tomorrow. So what's going to end up happening is if in this match, for example, if there's a tough shot, uh, I'm going to announce this is the one. And if uh, either Roman or Chris make that shot, they'll be awarded 50 bucks at the end of, uh, end of play, uh, end of this, uh, this set. And uh, once that shot has been made, the next person to comment that has that share button uh, above their badge or above their name, they will also get 50 bucks. Now it is Canadian funds, so I'm sorry there's uh, a little bit of an exchange rate going down to my US friends, but uh, or around the world for that matter. You could call it best of the worst. Who yeah. comes out the best out of the worst <laughs> leave, right? <That's, laughs> yeah, exactly. Or who makes the best of the worst leave. Exactly. Patrick Neal tuning in on YouTube. How you doing, my friend? Dave, how are you? Todd, what's going on? Christmas season is approaching, so definitely happy holidays to you as well, Todd. Uh, Jeremy Jones, where is this coming from? We are live, Calgary, Alberta. From the Leather Pocket, one of the pool halls here in Calgary. And once again, and as always, you know what to do from here if you're tuning in. Help us out, smash that share button. Let's get it rocking. We got 165 right now, oh, 155. On YouTube, another 31, or sorry, 158 on Facebook, 30 something on YouTube. There you go. How are your kids doing? Uh, how are the boys doing? They're doing really well, Brian. Reacclimating back to uh, having to go to school every day as opposed to stay home, but. Uh, for my own sanity and Steph's sanity, uh, it's better that they go to school. And I'll tell you, throughout COVID, I certainly uh, learned the value of teachers and what they need to go through. Because, wow, I was not cut out to be a teacher. <laughs> nope. Nor teach your own kids yes. how to do math and everything else that they had to do. <laughs> so I think teaching other kids would be easier than your own. Uh, it is not. Uh, teaching other kids, other yes. Other than your own Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, Kevin says, just shared the stream to six pool groups, but it doesn't show that I shared. It does to us. You have the share button over your name, so does Brian. That's cool. I haven't seen that yet. Yep. So, we'll so we can see anybody that comments it's been naughty and not shared. That's it. So I want to see share buttons over everybody's name. But hey, if you don't end up winning that 50 bucks Canadian, don't worry about it. 
sit back, relax, because we'll keep you entertained all day today, all day tomorrow, and really, that's the name of the game. Yep. And what the heck, tuning in for free? You can't really go wrong with an opportunity to win 50 bucks today and 50 tomorrow. If you don't like free, you can always pay me. Oh, hey, we'll take it. Yeah. We will take it. And also, big announcement coming up uh, at some point throughout the broadcast. Uh, probably multiple times once we do announce it. But stay tuned. I put a little teaser post out on Q Sports Live. What have we been up to? Believe me, guys, we have been working in the background. Joella tuning in from New York. Welcome to Q Sports Live. Is there anybody new? If you're a first time viewer to Q Sports Live, let me know. I'd like to give you a shout out on the stream. Uh, is that Lan Fong playing on the other table? It is. So you've got uh, a few ladies in the house Lan Fong, Sandy Badger. Sandy came down from Edmonton. Dan has to be one of the favorites here. One I of agree. my favorites. Yeah. Here. I would agree. I was surprised she made it in this. I thought she was over 600, actually, but she sure, sure shoots like it. Yeah. <laughs> well, she, uh, she knows how to hold that cue, that's yeah, for she's sure. A professionally ranked lady player. Uh, is the bracket available to do uh, to view? It is Delphine. It is on uh, challenge. Uh, Jake Evans, first time viewer to Q Sports Live. Welcome to it. Brad, the first time Brad. viewer. If he <laughs> didn't have Cher above his name, I'd ban him. Uh, yeah, right. Is the entire first round going already? Uh, there are eight uh, diamond tables, so. I would suspect not everybody in the first round uh, is is going yet, but Donald Andrews, first time viewer. Welcome to Q Sports Live. Typically what you would find with Q Sports Live uh, when we were uh, running in a country that was open uh, and not with COVID, uh, we were live typically every week and uh, Yeah, we traveled all around Canada, all over the United States, doing every type of tournament from uh, from juniors right up to pro. And that's typically what you'll find. There's, uh, gosh, Ryan, how many would you say? Eight, eight or ten thousand different streams in the uh, now, yeah. in the archives. And of course, it is always free to view here on Q Sports Live. Ryan is looking to ask everybody, where is everybody tuning in from? I know New Zealand was in the house. We tried the Jacoby jump break called the blackouts. Uh, I've heard of it. Um, I've heard it's uh, quite amazing. Um, at some point, I will definitely try that. Must be up on challenge. David shared the link. Thanks, David. Yep. Our pin master back at it. See if I can pin it. Uh, for some reason, no. it doesn't let us pin anymore. Right on here. Minneapolis in the house. Neil Soloway with the share button above his name. Derek as well. You can pin it on a laptop or on the thing if you're logged into CSL. Mm -hmm. but ah, we'll figure it out uh, yeah. after this. Uh, I don't know why it doesn't let you from a phone yeah. or tablet. Or yeah, it's weird. <laughs> Maria, Chris's mom's house. <laughs> North Dakota in the house, Minneapolis, Augusta, Georgia, Washington State for Jake. I didn't see who won that last game. Ryan had minimized Chris, the screen. Chris, Was it Chris? Chris? Memphis, Tennessee. Just, sorry guys, give me one second here.
It all depends on what Mark titled the tournament. Correct. Correct. <laughs> Hamilton, Ontario for Labrador. Tuning in on YouTube. Pittsburgh, Jersey. John, how can you enter this tournament or these tournaments in the future? If you follow along on Calgary Pool Scene on Facebook, is where most of these tournaments in Calgary get posted. Yeah, I would. Uh, that would be the first place I would go. Uh, well, number one, I would probably follow Q Sports Live. Typically, we will post out uh, any tournaments. Out. Yeah, we share pretty much every tournament that we can. Uh, the second place I would go to is uh, Calgary Pool Scene. That'll give you a, a good heads up on the tournaments that we've got coming here and uh, what's going on in Calgary. Seems to be a little bit of a hotbed for uh, for pool. Yeah, we had uh, Dave and play a money match the other night, Dave Martin and... Uh, yeah, and Mike, Mike Robinson. Robinson. Yeah. yeah. They were playing a thousand dollar set, I believe. Yeah. Well, they've got another one coming up here soon, too. Yeah, Sean Jolly, what's going on, my friend? How are you? God, it's it, you know what? I missed I missed going live and missed uh, seeing everybody. It's crazy how much you miss doing what you're uh, what you're uh, acclimated to doing or you know have done in the past. <coughs> Hey, you're welcome, Jarrett. We appreciate you tuning in. That might help, help to make the levels a little better there, too. Yeah. All righty. What have we got going on on the pool table? Chris is at the table. Always waiting, waiting for, for uh, waiting for Ben DeWolf to decide what to do. Yeah, not quite six feet in between the tables. So. Not quite, yeah. And by the way, everybody is uh, masked up. That is part of the requirements. Uh, there are some pretty strict COVID restrictions uh, when playing in these events. You have to have your mask on at all times, unless you are eating or drinking. But if you get up to move from the table, you must wear your mask. And as you can see, all the players, when they are playing, you must also have your mask. Well, I think he's going to go to the to the short stick. So you know what? This could be the shot. This is tight. It's difficult. That is really tight. With that. If he makes this, this will be my first attempt at giving away 50 bucks, guys. That 14 ball sticking in. Almost has to do the double jump. Yeah. It uh, it was a it was tough that tough uh, that was a tough jump shot yeah. to try to clear that uh, I think it was the 11 ball sitting in front. So no worries, we will keep trying to give away some cash. Are the players both seven skill level? So Joella, this is based on Fargo rating. So Fargo rate is kind of a worldwide uh, rating. And that's what this is based on, is the Fargo rate. It was based out of South Dakota. Uh, yeah. A fellow by the name of Mike Page originally came up with the idea, and uh, it pretty quickly spread all over the world. So it's a, more of a universal uh, ranking system for pool players. From what I've seen of the APA, all these guys in the league play would be sevens or sixes or sevens. Yeah. Do we get half the cash for the attempt? <laughs> Uh, not for the attempt. If he had made that shot, um, made that jump shot, he would have earned himself 50 bucks cash. Maybe. And then uh, if he made it, he yeah. would have earned it. Um, and then one of the viewers, the very next viewer to comment, once that shot was made with the share badge over their name, I will ship you off 50 bucks cash as well. 
Lou, what's going on? My man tuning in from New Jersey. How are you, sir? Yes, Brad, uh, certainly. Really good to see pool going on again, uh, at least for the interim. I know that, uh, you know, uh, in Canada, there's various stages of, uh, of places getting shut down again, going back into lockdown. Uh, we have not quite reached that yet. Uh, we were, we were kind of keeping our fingers crossed that it didn't happen uh, before this weekend. We've got the 580 tournament going on here, and then the Dave Senior Memorial happening at, uh, at Hidden Spot. And uh, it may be the last hoorah for yeah. tournaments, for, for, for a while. at least for a little bit anyway. Yeah, because we did hit a new record of cases yesterday. Again. Yeah, we sure did. So yeah, I'm betting come Monday they're going to be announcing new lockdown procedures. I would think, uh, just based on the fact of uh, of the room being full, uh, I would tend to agree with you. But we'll see. Uh, now I missed that. That was Roman that uh, won that one. Yes, two two. Tie ball game again. That's too bad to hear that, Michael. Mike Fargo Page is from North Fargo, Dakota. North Dakota. Okay, yeah. Fargo, just close. That's where. Um, ah. <laughs> drawing a blank in my head. We'll let you ponder on that. Well, I partied a couple nights and, um, on that four uh, how's, how's Stephen and the baby? House, the house bro out of Fargo. Um, oh. Don't know. How's Stephen and the baby? They're doing well. Uh, they moved back to BC, I want to say, seven months ago, seven or eight months ago, somewhere in there. Rory, that's it. Yeah. Oh, yes, Rory Hendrickson. You know what, Jim? I uh, I was kind of commenting on that uh, when we first went live that the 580 and unders are showing us how it's done, and uh, it it more kind of proves the point that I I was preaching last year that uh, the only reason that there's no money in pool is because the uh, the the higher level players don't feel like putting the money into it, and I think the 580 and under uh, have just proved my point with 40 players coming out. $500 per player. There was a, a $50 green fee, uh, admin fee that came out of that, but um, you know, it puts around a $20,000 prize pool together. And uh, first place taking home 6500 bucks. Not bad for a weekend's worth of work. I'm going to send you a PM, Patrick. Uh, APA has been shut down down won't resume until end of January 2021 wow yeah it's uh, it's kind of a crazy world out there right now uh, with various stages and and things going on in the country um, but guys stay tuned when this rack is done I got an announcement for you that may have the answer that you're looking for so certainly uh, stay tuned for that we're excited about it I kind of put out a teaser post last week, uh, something along the lines of uh, uh, what have we been up to. Um, we've been working, believe me. We've been working in the background to kind of put something together. And uh, whoever is, uh, is tuned in following this rack, you'll be the first to hear about it. So uh, we're excited about it, and uh, we hope you guys are too. Uh, Patrick has been playing in either of the events or both. Uh, obviously, he can't play in this one. He is certainly well above 580. Uh, he's above 680. He's above um, 720. <laughs> he is above 720. Uh, but he is certainly uh, he's swinging the stick over at uh, at, at uh, Hidden Spot uh, for the Dave Senior Memorial. We have the Hyvis Covis radius in Opal and bars close at 10 p.m. They do here now as yeah, well. they well here it's 11, 
Um, final last calls at 10. They have to shut down at 11. So both today and tomorrow, guys, stream will end at 11 o'clock. We have to be done and out. Now, if there's a game left, I'm going to push the envelope a little bit. Um, but uh, we will not start another stream at, say, 1045 because we wouldn't be able to finish that stream. So uh, around about 11 o'clock tonight, that'll be, uh, that'll be the end of the end of our uh, our streaming Players so don't want to be halfway through a match either so. no <laughs> yeah Stupid Matt bad. you uh, you hit that right on the head when this tournament was announced um, I was kind of on the fence I got to admit I was on the fence whether it would go whether it wouldn't go um, I was hopeful um, because I knew uh, I knew the guy that uh, was running it, both uh, Warren and uh, and Mark Map Attack, um, very well known, well respected within the Calgary Pool community. And uh, when they announced this tournament, it filled within 24 hours. I was surprised. I mean, yeah, there's I mean a lot of great players, 580 and under, but I figured at 500 might be a little a little steep. Steep. But yeah. But you know what? Like I said, you know, they're, uh, they're showing us how it's done, guys. And I have all the respect in the world for them. Uh, I have heard, you know, kind of the off comments that uh, it's not good for pool because it shows lower players you can make money at and, and not, you know, increase your skill level. I don't think that's true. I think if, if there was of more of sure this, though. I think it would actually increase um, the players wanting and, and feeding into that and wanting to get better. How many people can play with a pressure of paying five hundred dollars? Well, that's and that's it. And I've if never if done it. listen, if the five eighty and unders can do this, why is it that above five eighty and under can't? I don't understand it. And and the mentality seems to be, well, I've put my time in. I really don't have to put the money in. Well, let, I mean, that's a direct correlation between why there is no money at the top end of pool. They always, if you they don't put money in, there's no money to be won. Well, they all want the added money. That's all yeah, they want, that's right? it. Yeah. Well, I put that post out to have people asking about a, yeah. like a, up to a thousand dollar entry. Yeah. Right? Or a four to six person round robin twenty five hundred dollar entry. I yeah. figured there'd be four or six top players that would for a chance winner take all, that would be a big pot. Yeah. Right? So I mean if you're to do a round robin of four or six players and it's race to thirteen or something like that, yeah. ten ball. Yeah. You get a lot of pool in there. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree 100% with you, Todd. Scott Axon says 620 and under. Uh, Ryan's hard to hear. He is wearing his mask. Uh, I've got mine pulled down a little bit. Well, we are separated by some. I'll turn mine up a little bit. Yeah, there. I wasn't yeah. sure where it was turned to before. Yeah. But oh, it was right up. Was it? Okay. Yeah, maxed out. Do you want to mute mine for a minute? I'm going to switch my headset yeah, around. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure I missed the last game. I'm pretty sure it's 3-2 for Chris. But yeah, I mean, it uh, It certainly proves a point. And I think I, I made that point uh, well known last year um, because it was something that uh, that I feel impassioned by that, you know, if, if, if Pool is going to make, you know, kind of a comeback, um, then we have to understand if we don't put money in the game, there's not going to be money to win, right? It's not just all about the added money. The added money is a bonus, right? But us as players, if we don't add money into our sport, there's no money to win, right? And the 580 and under here just proved it, and they, they filled up in 24 hours. Yeah. Well, guys were already asking, when's the next big one? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you want to give it a couple months anyway. <clears throat> That you want to have a full draw every time. Of course. And I, you know what? I think it actually grows the game, right? Um, when you start to see, uh, when you start to look at the natural progression of, of kind of how you play pool or when you get started. Um, I first started playing pool in a pool hall. I used to skip school um, just to go play at the pool hall. Um, but I didn't know about leagues. I didn't know about any of that stuff. I just picked up a queue and I went to the pool hall. Um, and that's where I learned about leagues and so on and so forth. And I think at the, at the lower caliber, um, you know, if, uh, for example, just like this tournament here, 580 and under, $500 entry fee, 
you start showing that that there is money in pool, it's going to attract new players, right? Now, the trick to it is how do we increase that on the higher end? Yeah, it's a matter of the attitude's got to change. Yeah. Is Jason Klatt there? Nope. Jason <laughs> Klatt's probably still back in Chicago. Uh, we are live out of Calgary, Alberta, Canada, and uh, he would not be allowed to play. Uh, he is well, He's in well a over, yes, yeah, seven, yeah. seven something or other. Yeah. So I've uh, I've certainly seen uh, Roman play uh, quite a few times. Uh, very, very controlled player. Takes his time. Very methodical in what he does. Yeah, Jason's got the third highest Fargo in Canada, so yeah. behind Alex and John. Yep. Uh, Steven might be up there now. Steven's, uh, Steven and Ben are both in the top five, I think. Mean. Yep. I actually think it goes Alex, John, Jason, Steven, Eric, and then, well, Eric and Steven bounce back and forth a little mm -hmm. bit. And then Ben right behind those two. Yeah. Why wear a mask under your nose? Just don't wear one. Well, everybody's kind of trying to be compliant as best as uh, what they can. There may be, I don't want to judge anybody, guys, but there may be underlying issues as to why that's happening. For example, myself, I'm fairly claustrophobic, so... Uh, I do not like wearing masks for any length of, uh, of time. There could be other underlying issues as to why they don't. Perhaps there's asthma involved. Um, I try not to judge whether, uh, whether they're doing it right or not. The fact is they're making the attempt because uh, that's kind of the mandate of what the, uh, what the pool hall has asked for. So I, uh, I'll at least applaud them for making the effort. Yeah, they HS and their inspectors and everybody coming around mm -hmm. don't want to... Risk the big fines yourself. Exactly. And you can get the pool hall shut down. Right. Ideally, yeah, you'd like to see everybody wearing them, you know, above their nose and wearing them properly. And I, I believe me, I try to do my best with it. Um, being claustrophobic does not help <laughs> help my case out at all. Um, but again, right, I can't speak for uh, for everybody, so. But I'll applaud them for uh, for at least you know making the effort at it. And old man Ferguson says the lower ranked players get tired of donating to the pros. I think that depends on on your perspective of how you look at it. Um, I know, and and again, I'll only speak from my own experience when I was coming up through the ranks. Um, I would find the tough tournaments um, to go and play them because ult ultimately that's how you learn, right? And I never looked at it as uh, as me donating to them. I more looked at it as a way to get good lessons for a decent price, whatever the entry fee was, and the experience in playing. So that stuff you just can't you can't learn that. That you got to go out and you got to get for yourself. Terry watching in the T dot. Thanks for tuning in again, Terry. I'm surprised Chris missed that. Feared he was out from there. Definitely. But again, they're playing on diamond tables. They are tight pockets. Hit the heart. We are tie ball game once again. Whoops. So you know what, guys? I'm going to announce right here, right now, for those that are tuned in, what we got in store. This is what we've been working on starting January 4th. We will have the Q Sports Live International Pool League. Uh, don't have all the details worked out as of yet. Um, you'll see a lot of posts coming out this week about it. 
um, separate divisions right down from juniors all the way up through the ranks right to pro. Uh, we will eventually have everything. It'll be the Ghost, it'll be a singles league, it'll be team play, all the different games you could want to play. We will have them all. We're working on final details of um, getting sanctioning from BCA and VNEA, all backed, of course, by the Fargo rate. Stay tuned for details for the very, very first thing that we will be starting, obviously, with uh, various stages of, uh, of countries being open. We will be starting with the Ghost League first. So we'll get into details. Ben and I will be going live next weekend uh, with a Q&A on what it takes, what it involves, the difference between our league and our concept versus some of the others. Um, but it is something that we have worked our butts off uh, over the last month to put together. And uh, we're excited about it. I think there's uh, a lot of good things that we're going to bring to the table. So stay tuned. We will put out a ton of posts uh, probably this weekend. So make sure, guys, if you haven't done so, Make sure you've gone onto the Q Sports Live Facebook page. Not just follow the page. You've got to hit that like button to get the updates. So the Ghost League, you can play at home. You can play in the pub. You can play at the, uh, at the pool hall. That one you can play pretty much anywhere you want to be. Um, but it, it does open up the doors for those states or provinces or cities um, where pool halls are shut down and you have a pool hall uh, or a uh, pool table at the house you can be competitive believe me you know how q sports live operates we're always going to do things the right way and that's what we're going to be bringing to the table table size <laughs> table size yes so on the onset and from the start table size uh we'll separate the table sizes from seven foot tables to eight plus Right, because there are various uh, uh, spots even throughout Canada that don't have a seven foot, don't have nine foots, they play on eights. Some don't have eights, they have nine. So we're going to separate it. And the, the, the more interest that we get and the more players that we get uh, within the league, the more we can kind of start separating them out even more. So the eventuality is you'll have seven foot, eight foot, and nine foot league play. All the different games, so eight ball, nine ball, ten ball, one pocket, so on and so forth, all separated by Fargo rating and based on uh, what your Fargo rate is. So tons of details, lots of things that uh, that we're going to be bringing to the table. Um, but it, believe me, it will be pool played like it's meant to be played. Every game counts, every ball counts, um, and yeah, we're we're really really excited about it. Uh, being able to work with uh, with Mike Page at Fargo rate. Uh, being able to work with VNEA and BCA. Uh, those details were kind of putting the final nails in the coffin to get those deals done, and uh, we're excited about it. Yeah, Matt, you'll be able to play on any table you want. So if your buddy's got a table, he wants to let you play on it, you're all good. Correct. Yeah, you don't have to own a table to play on this. If you, As long as you have a table to play on. Yep. Yes, Matt. Uh, I'm sure Ryan just uh, just talked about that. But yeah, if you have a buddy that's willing to, to let you go and play at his place, 100%. Um, so again, um, we'll have a lot of details as to the function uh, functionality behind how we're going to accomplish this, um, so on and so forth. We'll announce a bunch of things this coming week. Um, we just want to kind of put uh, a few last nails in the coffin to make sure that uh, that we're good to go. So. He can't see that to make it in that top left corner. Yeah. He overran that. He's got about half that ball. Uh, yes, Jared, if you're having uh, trouble finding it, uh, if you search uh, 
somebody posted that. Uh, if you search... Oh, I, now I forgot. <laughs> I'll, have to, I'll have to find out from Mark what he's posted it as. Scratch wasn't what he wanted to do. You know, I'd normally pet, bet money on Crispy and out here, but we'll see if that. Well, you know, I'm, I, and this is this is part of kind of growing with the game. Um, I know that you know myself, you, Ben, and you know most of the players in Calgary uh, are certainly acclimated to playing on a live stream. Yeah. Um, however, I'm not sure how much Chris is or Roman is uh, acclimated to uh, to playing on the live stream. It mm -hmm. does add kind of an extra uh, element of uh, of pressure. Because obviously you want to uh, you you want to play play well yeah. and and show well for yourself, but uh, sometimes that does get into your head. Yeah, I played Chris quite a few times in the CCS Championships. Mm -hmm. That's where I, we see him from him being out in the Vancouver area. But uh, with the there is. Nanaimo and Penticton, yeah, he's yeah. Uh, I yeah, like I said, I bet him to be out. Yeah. But, uh, there it is. Uh, so, Jarrett, if you uh, go on to Challenge and search high stakes, you'll be able to find it. And Matt, I believe, just posted that as well. And yes, uh, pocket size comes into play. Um, again, it, it really does depend on the interest level um, and what players, uh, how many players on each. The more players we get involved, the more we're going to dive into table size, table type, pocket size, so on and so forth. Um, obviously, the end goal, uh, and I'll speak more to the end goal because right now we're, we're somewhat restricted to you know, what we can bring forward. Um, but the ultimate end goal is to have every different level of play, right from juniors um, to, uh, to, you know, all the amateur uh, levels um, and then into the pro side. Um, with all of the games, all the different things that you could do, singles, league play, scotch doubles, all the different game styles, um, that will be uh, what our end goal is, to have all of those available. Um, and, of course, there's... Uh, three different uh, sessions is what we're talking about. Uh, the first session you compete locally um, within your own city. Um, the second session will be uh, country. So I will play against everybody in Canada. Um, those that are in the States will play against everybody in the States. And the third session uh, would be competition around the world. So if you really want to test yourself and see where you're uh, where your skill level is uh, we want to open up the doors uh, we want to bring it a uh, you know beyond just brick and mortar we want to make this thing um, universal and you being able to compete against uh, anybody from anywhere around the world uh, a lot of different things that uh, I won't get into with how we're going to accomplish that and then some other elements that we want to bring in with that as well um, but we have put a ton of thought into it uh, a lot of work so far um, but it really does depend on interest level uh, how many you know, players want to play in each different level. Um, so right now we're, we're not going to start with the juniors. We're going to start with three different levels. Um, so depending on what your Fargo rate is, you'll be you know, on uh, the low, mid, high range. Um, we may start the pros side right away. Um, but again, those are all details that, uh, that we'll hammer out here this week and we'll announce uh, into next week. So really, really excited about it, but uh, a ton of work uh, yet to be done. We do want to be able to start with pre-registration uh, on December 1st with the first matches going live uh, on January, the week of January 4th. But certainly the more, uh, the more interest we get, the more we can drill down into uh, specific table types and pocket sizes, um, so on and so forth. So hopefully that answered, uh, answered the question.
Um, yeah, kind of, I guess. Um, behind the Rock, uh, that was Debbie Wellfinger, or uh, Well, I hope I, I said her not last name right. Um, kind of. Um, I mean, anybody that runs ghost tournaments, um, you know, it's, uh, I guess, considered the same thing. Um, but we want to take it well beyond just playing the ghost. Um, the eventuality, like I said, you'll have singles play, team play, scotch double, so on and so forth. The only reason we don't bring those out right now is because of COVID, because of various stages of people being open and then sh uh, shut down again. And uh, it's it's a little bit... Um, a little bit tough to bring those forward when the uncertainty of whether people are going to be able to play or not, um, when it's that uncertain, I'd rather not. I'd rather wait until everything kind of settles back into whatever state of normalcy we're going to see in the future. Uh, and once it does kind of normalize, uh, then we'll certainly bring out, you know, the singles, the team play. Um, and again, we'll have uh, um, BCA uh, sanctioning, VNEA sanctioning. There's one other body that uh, we'll end up talking to to see if we can in fact do uh, maybe a triple sanction. Um, but right now, yes, uh, similar, I guess, to uh, to what the Behind the Rock would be. Tony tuning in from Ireland, what's happening? How are you? I would agree if I know anything about ghost tournaments. Yeah, I've uh, certainly seen my fair share. It is all about the break, most certainly. And we'll have, you know, set rack patterns that, you know, this is how the, the rack has to be done. Uh, we're not going to allow for pattern racking and those kinds of things. So uh, we'll have the, the safety things and, uh, you know, as best as what we can. Um, we'll have those set in place as well. Nice little shot there from Roman. Came around that really nice. Now the question is, I think you almost have to take that six ball. He's on the wrong side. Well, maybe you can take two, just kind of nudge that eight a little bit, leave yourself angle, draw off that six ball back underneath the 12. Uh, can you comment on Fargo rating difference between a player playing mostly out of Vancouver? Uh, yeah, Kevin, there there is some some talks uh, about the difference in, uh, uh, for example, a 580 player here in Calgary versus a 580 player there in in BC or anywhere else around the world for that matter. Um, but I think it's as far as consistency goes, uh, it's probably the best out there, which is why we chose to go with Fargo. Uh, as far as you know, a 580 being close to a 580, no matter where you go. Um, would there be minor differences? Certainly. Um, would it be enough to affect uh, playability or, you know, a match uh, between those two players? I don't think so. Could be another one in here. Uh, for Roman, yeah. Uh, it's an easier jump shot. He's only got a half yeah. ball jump shot, but it is a cut shot. What the heck? Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. We're going to potentially give away some cash here, guys. I play every third shot with my jump cue, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is the shot, guys. If Roman makes this jump shot, it'll be one of the difficult ones. I'm going to give away 50 bucks here. And if that shot goes in, guys, the next person after I state that it was done, the next person with the sharer over their name also gets 50 bucks. There it is. It's there. Done deal. Okay. The next person that comments with the word or the, the bad sharer over their name, I will also send them 50 bucks cash. Kevin. Kevin. He is the man. Great shot from Roman. Again, tie ball game. Where else can you go, guys? And earn 50 bucks just for watching a pool match. <laughs> Show me the money. So, Kevin, send me a message to the Q Sports Live Pool League page. I will get that sent off for you here in the next couple of days. You have earned yourself 50 bucks cash. Roman also earns himself 50 bucks cash. See, Joella, I see you 
you typed share need to share the stream to get the share over your name. Is what <laughs> yes, you need the badge. So all anybody needs to do is click that share button, share the stream. You will get that badge over your name. However, Kevin was the first one to comment. So Roman earns, earns himself 50 bucks cash. So does Kevin. And guys, we will do it again tomorrow. Yeah. So make sure you tune back in. Patrick doesn't even have the share under over his name. <laughs> no, Patrick, come on, buddy. Smack him next time I see him. Right? Patrick, what are you doing? You need to have the share button or the share badge over your name. You get that by sharing the live stream. And we'll see what other kind of giveaways we can do. Perhaps I'll do another. I enjoy giving away some cash. Why not? Hey, and I can actually win it now. Yes, you sure can. Yes. Not while you're not while you're on doing no. commentary, but yes, you could. Okay, I quit. You could. <laughs> you no, could I already definitely. gave it away, so I gotta wait till tomorrow. That's right. So. Win, lose, or draw here, or whether Roman wins this match or not, he's got at least 50 bucks coming out of it. it says, I don't know if you shared this stream, Patrick. Yeah, got to share the stream. Rob, how are you, my good man? Although the way COVID things are going, I don't know if Patrick being down in Texas, we want to go anywhere near down there. Yeah, well, maybe don't even share the stream. Maybe COVID's learned how to <laughs> jump in on shares. Because, I mean, with all the other rules that are now set out in place with having to shut down at, uh, or last call at 10, shut down by 11, it seems to be the new witching hour. Yeah. 11 o'clock is when COVID comes out. Shared multiple times. Well, maybe spending a four or five days with me down in Texas has disqualified him. Uh, yeah, I guess, right? Yeah. And you know what, Patrick? You would be one I would believe, 100%. So. Yep. Go Warren Venny, says Debbie. Yeah, I would agree with you, Warren. Uh, both Warren and Mark. Um, you know what, they, they, they did a really, really good job in putting this event together. And like we mentioned earlier, this event sold out in 24 hours. If you are just tuning in, it is a $500 entry fee. 40 players puts it around a $20,000 prize pool. First place walking away with 6,500 bucks. What a great shot. He took over the pocket anyway. I think that was uh, that was the intention. Either make it or take over the pocket. Yeah. yeah if I'm Chris, I'm not going to sink too many of mine here until I know I can get my ball out of there. And he can play rail, rail first here and clear that pocket. And off with, is that the 15 baller? Yeah. Yep. Well, and I think he's playing the right shot because he's got to find a yeah. way to get that, uh, get that six ball out of there. If it holds up, he's not bad. Roman's got to shoot from downtown. Yeah. And almost off the beach. But he'll get natural shape on those two, though. He doesn't yep. have to do much other than make the ball. True enough. Let's see if he can, from distance, thin it in. Thin for the win. Does he have it? He's looking at the two ball. I don't know why you'd look at that first. But yeah, he's calling the six. Yeah. I, I don't think he can see the two. I think no, he's, 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 he's behind the 11. But so 
just on the outside. Looking good for Chris now. Sure is. Nice wide open table. 11 ball could be tricky to get on the one side. I Although actually he's got the angle here now. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm going the 14 first here. Yep. You straight top spin, you come across, you're good. Yeah, I'm going to go 14, 9, uh, 15, 11, 8. No, I'd do this 11. Either which. Yep. Shooter's choice. Milwaukee in the house. Thanks for tuning in, Sharon. Oh, that was Leonard. Watching Great Pool shared in NC. North Carolina. North Carolina, indeed. Thanks for sharing, Karen. Sharon? Kevin messaged the page. Awesome. I appreciate that, Kevin. Nice little back angle there. Leaves himself good angle on the nine ball. He's got to avoid that side pocket. He wants to put a little bit of running English. No, he tried Doesn't want to draw. This will be another jump shot. Yeah, jump you cut. were always going to draw into that uh, two and seven. I probably would have played three rails around oh, there. Like top, yeah, because yeah. you're naturally you're natural. going towards yeah. that, that yeah. angle. Uh, Debbie, I'm assuming you're asking about the bracket uh, for the draw sheet that is on Challenge. Uh, just search in there for high stakes in Challenge, and you'll be able to find the bracket online. Chris is looking strong. Roman is a very, very solid player with no doubt. I've run into Roman a few times in a couple of the tournaments mm -hmm. here in town. He's a great shot. Yeah, we used to have the Friday night tournament here at Leather Pocket, one of the best in the city, and uh, Roman was a regular. Yeah, you get to play that Friday night tournament, there's usually three or four 700 Fargos <laughs> playing yeah. in there if you want to you get good. <laughs> That's it. That's exactly correct. Yeah, when Stephen was here, you get Stephen, Russ, Ben. Mm -hmm. Joe, Eric. Yeah, Joe, Eric, yeah, the freaking dream team there. Yeah. But, uh, well, and Larry Walpers certainly, oh, uh, he's he huge. has come a long yeah. way. I think he's one of the one of the most underrated. Oh, for sure. And again, forward here, a little bit of running English, two rails, three rails. Good to go. So I think this will be Roman's first lead of the match if he makes this eight ball. Indeed. First lead for Roman. When the world gets back to normal, is CSL going to bring back the advantage packages? Uh, we will, absolutely, Kevin. Um, we actually were going to do it um, this weekend. And uh, I just didn't... Uh, I didn't get around to doing the uh, the poster, but uh, we were going to bring it back here uh, for this one. The, the the difficult part with the viewer advantage pack is um, is the cost, the yep. cost involved. So um, we we do have to buy all the all the things that are in that viewer advantage pack, and in order to make it a legal draw, and legal not illegal. Uh, in order to make that a legal draw, we have to set a draw date. Open and close. Open and close. So, um, yeah, it gets it gets a little bit challenging when we've only got uh, a two-day event yeah. to hopefully sell enough tickets on that to at least cover the cost of that stuff. Um, but yes, we will. We will certainly look at uh, at bringing back the the viewer advantage. And that's where the bonus of the four or five day major events. Yes. You can set the opening date. Yep. First day of closing date last. And Correct. And through that, generally you make enough to cover your costs. But yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I have Grant's to go and, <laughs> and, and do some refing duties, so uh, I will be right back here, guys. Yeah, and I'll leave you with Ryan. Yeah, and they've taken a five-minute break, so I'll try to entertain you. Well, there's nothing going on. Yeah, start singing. <laughs> hey, I still want people to like me. I'm not going to start singing. Um, anyway, so 
Yeah, like Grant was saying, with those few advantage, although, again, I'll update anybody here that hadn't heard earlier, I'm, I've am i sold my share in Q Sports Live to Ben and Grant. You'll only hear me every once in a while. Maybe as if I can sit in on these guys here, the odd stuff they do, but I still will be streaming um, CCS events. But with that viewer advantage to have to open it even yesterday and close tomorrow to sell eight hundred or thousand dollars worth of tickets to cover the cost, it's its chances are wouldn't do it. That's why he hasn't opened one, but they will be back. So while we're waiting, does anybody else have any other questions? Yeah, there'll be there'll be a lot more tournaments coming up, five eighty and under. Um, nine or ten ball that that could be an option too. It's just generally with the lower level players or the lower level Fargo rated players. Eight ball with eight ball being the league is generally the the go to game on the seven foot table. But yeah, to have something on the nine foot a nine or ten ball tournament. Might be something down the road here, too. Because in Leather Pocket, we do have eight, nine-foot diamond tables as well. So Chris is back from his washroom break. Trailing 5-4. Who was the top horse? Ah, Sandy Badger has got to be one of my picks. She won her first match, I believe, already. She's playing her second. And she is playing Randy Dodging Horse right now, and Randy's in for a tough game. Sandy Badger is actually a pro-ranked lady in the WPBA. Great shot. I was surprised to see her under 580 with her Fargo. Well, Roman's got eyeballs to start. They are all fairly open. Ooh, what shoot. Sorry, guys. <laughs> He was getting down on that shot. He almost bumped into Sandy shooting on the other table. The only problem he's going to have is trying to hold here for that next shot. I tend to probably draw this with some bottom right and try to come around. Shooting over top of the two ball makes it really tough to hold as well. Yeah, it was always going to be a steep, steep cut trying to hold that. Hey Lloyd, how you doing? Nice. Well, still okay, but in a little tougher here now. He hit that little th on the thin side, which came down more towards the center table. He wanted to come down the right side, a little more of it, I think. So is it a foul? Uh, they changed their mind. Oh. Yeah. And typically when uh, when that happens, there's two reasons. One, the shooter knows it's going to be a foul. Or they're uncomfortable shooting in front of a ref, so they yeah. decide they don't want that. Yeah, oh. yeah needed to put the stroke on that one. 
Roman sitting tough. What do you do here? Really, no matter which ball you try to go for, you're left tough. Well, I'm trying around. I didn't see the angle there, but I might have played for that. I don't even know if he's... In the side. I don't know if he's got enough angle here or enough room to go beside the three ball, back cut the 14 maybe, combo into the 13. Probably the best option. Uh, pin the bracket we have tried. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't, doesn't let us pin the bracket anymore. Unlike what we used to be able to. Well, Roger just put it up. I'm going to try something here, guys. Just give me a sec. I'll let you log in there. Oh. Uh, he did it when we signed in Wirecast. See if we can find a way to get this bracket pinned. Yeah, you're correct, Kevin, uh, especially when you've only got a couple of balls left and both of them are in, uh, in rather tough positions. However, that'll bring Chris to the table, see if we can go tie ball game one more time. It's been a tight match. It's good showing for, uh, for Chris. Uh, I don't really get to see a lot of Chris play, um, but certainly I get to see Roman play and have, uh, have seen him play quite a bit. And uh, he's a strong player, so good showing for both. You can actually mute people. I like that. Oh, wow. Pin comment. There we go. You have to do it from the... From the Facebook page. From, well, from the laptop or tower, yeah. Weird. PC. But yeah, because you got a ton more options anyway on there. Yeah. Uh, I guess you could pull your <laughs> guys. <laughs> it's tough to commentate without it. Yeah. I can tell you, Kane, this, uh, it's going to be a fun couple of days. Uh, we're live all day today, all day tomorrow. Yeah, yeah lots of good pool today in Calgary. Mm -hmm. Dave Sr. going on at the Hidden as well. Yeah, Dave Sr. is going on. Uh, we got this event going on. There may be the Barry, uh, Barry Huey Memorial coming up mid-December. Uh, I think they're attempting to, to get that done. A uh, couple of, uh, of events perhaps in January, depending again uh, on the various stages of, uh, of openness. Yeah. Well, that's that tournament. I was looking to, or had requested to organize from a few people mid, or towards the end of January into February, mm -hmm. depending on CCS events, whether they go ahead. Donnie, what's going on? Tuning in, Fremont. North Carolina. Thanks for checking out Q Sports Live. We appreciate it. If you are just tuning in, guys, you know what to do from here. Help us out. Hit that share button. We would greatly appreciate it. If you are new to Q Sports Live, we would encourage you to go onto our Facebook page or YouTube. Hit the like or follow button there. That way you're notified each and every time we go live. Uh, not quite as often uh, as we were pre-COVID. Uh, obviously, pre-COVID, we were live pretty much every weekend, uh, traveling around all of Canada and the U.S., bringing you uh, various tournaments from uh, around the country. Uh, right now, it's uh, a matter of not being able to travel, so we're pretty much stuck to, to being local at this point. But uh, as I just announced, uh, we will be starting up the Q Sports Live uh, pool league we'll be taking pre-registrations for that uh, hopefully December 1st uh, with the first set of, uh, of matches starting January 4th and make sure you're stay you're, you're tuned in on that so if you've only gone on to the Q Sports live page and hit the follow button on Facebook uh, go change that you'll want to hit the like button that way you get all the posts and updates and so on and so forth um, but we are working our butts off trying to get that thing uh, nailed down uh, and bring you the best of, uh, of what we can offer. And we're looking forward to it.
I think that 14 passes to this bottom right corner. I think so. So I think he can just slow roll this up and. Calgary versus Manitoba. Sure Manitoba's got any good players? Oh, they've got a few. No doubt about I it. I don't know about that. <laughs> Barry McLean. Barry McLean's out there. Yeah. Jason Klatt's originally from there. Uh, Rod Arigata is there. There's, there's, there's some players. I don't know. There's some players. Without a doubt. Put a team together, Wayne, and we'll think about it. Oh, we, we miss it too, Bob. It's uh, it's something that, uh, you know, I've, I've got a big passion for, uh, which is live streaming, commentary. Um, everything I, I kind of do, I want it to be done the right way, uh, which is why we have taken the time that we need uh, in order to get all the bugs worked out of, uh, of, the, uh, of the pool league that we want to bring out. Uh, it will be a little bit different than, uh, than what players are, are acclimated to. It'll be pool pool played the way it's meant to be played and the fact that every match counts every ball counts every everything you do it's going to count towards something so um again uh still lots of details to to uh to kind of iron out uh put a few last uh finishing touches on what what we want to do with it um but we will be going live next weekend um that'll be uh ben francis and myself uh we'll be going live with a q a and that Q&A will be all geared towards that pool league. So stay tuned for that. That'll happen next weekend. Uh, not sure whether it'll be Saturday or Sunday, but uh, one of those days will be live. Um, that's why I say make sure you've gone onto our Facebook page. Uh, hit that like button so that you get all the notifications, all the updates on what we're doing with the pool league. And to answer your question, Tony, yes, we do have lots of snow around Calgary and Banff. Yes, we do. Although it's a beautiful day out today. Yeah, Norway. Nice and sunny and... Nork, the ski hill Norkway has been open for almost three weeks now. Mm -hmm. They opened the earliest ever. Should come out with a CSL rating because Fargo sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Roger, I wouldn't say Fargo sucks. They all have their pluses and minuses. doesn't matter what system it there is, is no be it Fargo system. now. There is system. And you're never going to be able to have a, a, a perfect system because players will always try to find a way to, to beat the system. So this is Chris at the table, shooting high ball. Everything does go here. To score, I think. Is it five five? I don't know. Or is Roman on the hill? Might be Roman on the hill. Mm. Let's put him on the hill. I think that's what Sharon is saying too. I can't see. So if Roman is on the hill. And this is almost a, a must clear here from Chris, but everything yeah, everything is there. You can see his coin on the sixth. Mm -hmm. right so with side. this particular shot, you want to go just past left to center for the 14 to the top right. Doesn't want to be straight or he got to the right of center. And the reason I said he wanted to be the left to center, he wanted to uh, take the 12 ball next, then the 15, then eight, and he would have been out. He'll have to reverse that. Now take the 15 using the 12 ball to get to the 8. Still very doable. He's got a nice angle there. Yeah, nice little draw back here. 8 ball to the top left-hand corner. Even if he Keeps himself ball, in it. Draws cue ball to right where he is now. Be good. Yeah, just a little stun over. Nice little shot. This is the one to take the time on. Ooh, wiped its feet, but in she went. 6-5 in favor of Roman, and we'll give a shout-out to another one of the Q Sports Live 
sponsor, Spark Financial Services, guys, Dan Clark. Let me tell you, if you're in Calgary or surrounding area, this guy is an absolute rain man with numbers. And he does absolutely everything. Corporate taxes, uh, anything you need tax-wise, estate planning, retirement planning, insurance analysis. He is the rain man of accounting. Definitely somebody that uh, you're going to want in your back pocket. Make sure you hit him up on Facebook or give him a call. Especially if you're in, you're in the uh, Calgary and surrounding area. That's not a good way to start. Cue ball off the table. Cue ball off the table. Ben the Wolf hit. It just hit under him. And good concentration from Ben the Wolf on the other table. He did not flinch. <laughs> that ball hit right on the tail, right where he was. Didn't flinch, stayed in the moment, and made the shot. Thanks, Johnny. We appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in. So if you're rowing at the table, this is where you want to take your time. Be sure you want to end the match right here, right now. Don't give Chris anything. Obviously, he has the ability. He's got the skill. Even with the 11 on the side there, I like highball, I think. Yeah, I would agree with you. I would actually get rid of that right now. So I'm going the 13, 14, 11, and it leaves me... 15, 12, 9, 10 down at the bottom to, to work the pattern. Yeah. Right, which is all in the vicinity of the eight ball. He's going low ball, though. He is going low. Low ball does work, too. Just the that, four, only that four doesn't yeah. go to the top left yeah. or top right. That's, in there. That's why I don't like that. Although yeah. he's straight here, he can roll ahead and play cool. the four on the right side. Actually, the four will pass the two. Four passes the two to the top right. The problem is getting underneath it. No, I'm saying the four doesn't go in those top two pockets as we're looking mm. at all. Yeah, four goes here. Oh, no. That's four there, isn't it? No, that's, a, two. Th that's a three. Steve and Aaron, table 12. Two's down here. Yeah, he's shooting the three right now. Yeah. Uh, Roll up for the four, which goes to the right side. That's what I was saying. That the four was the only one I didn't like because it didn't go to the top two corners. Oh, I see what you Yeah, mean. no, I knew you rolled yeah, yeah. to play the side, but yeah. when looking at going back and forth between the two, but... Same with getting on the eight. If he's leaving that, is that the six ball down there? Mm -hmm. If he's leaving that to his last ball, he's got to thread that window to get shape on the eight. Mm -hmm. I don't think he leaves it. I think he'll uh, he'll take it fairly quick. Probably not right now. No. Although he may. I don't like that. I. If you can avoid uh, getting on to the 15 ball, I don't mind taking the six first here. Because you'll always have the one or five ball option going to the left side of the table. Could also punch into that 15 and stick it there, but that does get a little risky. And you see he uh, he rushed his normal pace there. Yeah. Right? He's got lucky because he's covered that pocket, I think. Mm. Chris has one trouble ball, and that's what he's looking at right now. I think the 13 plays, uh, which is the trouble ball, that 13 plays off the rail off the three. So if I, he, I don't mind does, this. That'd be my third shot. Oh, no, he can see that? If he can see the 14, I'm going to play just rub into the 11. Okay, or draw, either which. Now I'm going to play off the 11, draw into this 13 yep. off the uh, yeah. off the 3. You don't have to get crazy with it. Just a nice touch, maybe a touch of, of left-hand spin. Overpowered it. It'll still work if he wants to take that 13 ball. A little bit tougher because the cue ball is going to travel a little bit because you're cutting thin. All right? Or the option is leave it leave it to last, right? You can shape the 8 from pretty much anywhere. Yeah. Well, especially once you cleared that down there. Wait, 8's wide open. Nice shot with oh, the inside. Came, came at it right back at it. I like that. And I like this having that little bit of off angle. Because now he can play with a little bit of top or middle ball even. Yeah. I would have I would have preferred to stay on the top side of that just for control. The cue ball kind of tends to want to go here. Yeah, he's got to play off the rail first. 
he played tried to play straight off the three. Well, and always well, cutting into that blind, that. yeah, cutting into that blind angle can sometimes be a, a little bit tricky. Hey, thanks, Chris. We appreciate it. And once again, guys, if you are just tuning in, you know what to do from here. Smash it. Get that share button. Then you can get the little share name badge. Button yeah, get your, get your share badge. We gave away 50 bucks already today. Well, 100 bucks. 50 bucks to Roman and uh, 50 to Kevin. And we're going to do it again tomorrow. I might, uh, I might see if there's something else I can give away here a little bit later tonight. We will be live up until 11 o'clock. At 11 o'clock, COVID comes out, so we have to shut down. And if you are looking for the bracket, it is pinned now at the bottom of the page. Watch be, outside pocket. It'll be a cool prize to give away for the best shot or something like that. Would yeah. Be, be a Jacoby Black shaft. <laughs> that would be. Be neat. I'm just saying there's something down the road maybe for you yeah, guys. Yeah. 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 That'd be awesome. Here you want to get shaft. This well, we're, next uh, time. With, the, uh, with the pool league, we're looking at, uh, at doing some, some bigger things, so. But again, that'll that'll all come out all kind of next week. And here's your new shaft. It'll help you shoot better so you won't get that spot again. <laughs> yeah, but don't use it after 11 because yeah. COVID comes out. Yeah. What's going on, Mr. Plowman? How are you? A little bit of a trickier shot here. He's going down like he's going to try to draw in to try to break that somehow but I don't know if you need to I think you can just play two rails underneath have the one into the it is the one ball right yes yeah, yeah. the one into that uh, left hand side pocket what day is the leak uh, this is again one of the factors that uh, will be a little bit different with the uh, with the Q sports live league playing the ghost um, we're not going to set the day you have the entire week <laughs> Whatever works for you, be that at home, be that on uh, a bar table uh, at, a, at a restaurant or a pool hall, we will have uh, a list of supporting pool halls uh, where you can go and uh, you can get discounts and so on and so forth off table rates there. So uh, that's one of the other things that we are working on right now. And uh, that's not just Calgary. We're working on, uh, on doing that uh, all over Canada and the United States. Uh, eventually, uh, as we grow across the, the world, we'll have uh, places all over the world that you can go in and, uh, and get discounts on pool rates. A flex schedule, indeed. Um, with COVID going on right now, um, again, we're, we're trying to deal with the challenges of, of what COVID is presenting uh, as best as what we know how to and uh, what we feel is right and what the right way of, uh, of doing things is. So, um, again, we'll, we'll get into some, some of the nitty-gritty uh, details of that uh, on the Q&A next weekend. Perfect chance for Chris here to go hill, hill. Yep. Just control the rock. That white ball is so important to maintain control of. But he's looking good here. Nice little stun shot. That'll give you a nice angle on that 11. Yeah, he played up and down. I would have liked to come to the middle of the table a little more. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, I think it was more the uh, the over hit. Yeah. I think the adrenaline stroke perhaps got him there. That one was nerves, I think. Yes, I agree. Juan Mata, how are you, my good man? Thanks for tuning in. We appreciate it. And even if you're tuned in on YouTube, guys, you can share that link on YouTube. Shake off a little bit of the COVID rust. Uh, typically, uh, with Q Sports Live, as, uh, as the regulars know, we are live uh, typically every week. 
with a different event across uh, across Canada or the states. We've traveled all over the place, and believe me, we're grateful for that. We get to see a lot of the a lot of the country all over Canada and the U.S. Get to lead a, uh, meet a lot of people, uh, see a lot of different calibers of play, be that uh, from the junior level right up through to the pro side. Um, we're grateful for the opportunity to do that. We're happy that you guys keep continuing uh, to support us and what we're trying to uh, what we're trying to do. Uh, but believe me, I have a lot of big, big goals that I want to accomplish. Part of that um, is uh, my motivating factor would be my kids. I have two boys that if they want to, you know, grow up and play pool, I want it to be worth their time to do it. Um, so I'm looking at uh, at changing changing things up a little bit and doing things the best way I know how to do. Do it with integrity and. Uh, See if we can't make something out of this sport. He's hampered on this. He's got to draw it back. He is hampered a little bit. It's dead straight, but... But Roman's got the stroke. He's got a great stroke. No, oh, he touched that. Uh, just listening now on this leave of your singles. Uh, your choice. Uh, so Blair, yes, um, there'll be a QA and a um, that goes into a little bit more detail. Um, that'll be Ben Francis and I will go live next week. We'll get dive a little bit more into the, into the nitty gritty and the details of it. Um, but it's more than just a singles league. Um, initially, obviously, we have to play the ghost um, due to various stages of COVID uh, and places being open or closed down or open for a week, closed for two, you know, uh, right now, everything is just so up in the air that we're going to start with the uh, with the Ghost League first. Um, but uh, the end goal, I'll speak more to the end goal than I will, uh, you know, kind of what we want to want to start with. Um, the end goal is to have the Ghost League, and believe me, we're going to take even the Ghost to the next level. Um, and then we'll have uh, a singles league. We'll have teams. We'll have scotch doubles. We'll have all the different uh, games that you can play: eight ball, nine ball, all the different table sizes, um, ten ball, one pocket the whole works uh, we want to take it beyond just brick and mortar uh, open up the restrictions of uh, of what operating a brick and mortar league um, and the restrictions that that has we want to open it up so that uh, you can play not only locally against uh, you know uh, your locals and be competitive that way but we want to open up the world uh, we want it to be competitive uh, all over the planet so uh, with the reach that we do have uh, being followed by 60 some odd countries around the world we think it's a good opportunity to do it um, but again um, you know we're, we're still finalizing a few details it is backed by Fargo uh, we're talking with VNEA and BCA to both uh, of those uh, hopefully we'll have dual sanction we'll talk with one other body as well uh, and maybe be able to offer a triple sanction and uh, yeah, we're uh, we're going to do things the right way. So again, more details to follow. Uh, a lot will be coming out this week as far as details on the uh, different divisions, um, what the league fees are, uh, what the potential prize pools uh, would be based on interest. Um, so stay tuned for that. If you haven't, uh, if you haven't. Um, done so make sure you've uh, you've liked the page not just follow it really nice shot from Chris okay, we are going hill, hill hill who doesn't like hill hill first match we are going to the hill ladies and gentlemen get ready for it while they're racking it up, we will give another shout out to one of the sponsors here at Q Sports Live. Now a longtime sponsor, Jacoby Custom Qs. It is the home of the Jacoby Black. Guys, if you are looking to get your hands on one, make sure you send us a message on the Q Sports Live Facebook page. We do get a little bit of a deal on those. Actually, on any Jacoby Q. Any like. Jacoby, yep, absolutely. And we're even looking at uh, at doing things that way within that pool league. There's there's lots of little perks that we'll have. All the members get a little discount somewhere or something like that? Yeah, yeah. on just about everything. Uh, so we're working with Jacoby right now, and I, I won't go into, into some of the others, but uh, uh, obviously jam up apparel. You'll get uh, discounts on, on clothing. And I will, I will put up um, what we've got for designs for the league shirts. You're going to love them. They are amazing-looking shirts. Uh, of course, that's made by Jam Up Apparel. 
they will be the official clothing line of, uh, of the Pool League. Uh, the members that uh, do join our Pool League, you'll get discounts on, on um, Jacoby Qs, you'll get discounts off Jam Up Apparel, and you know some of the others that I won't go into quite yet. A rough looking table. Ball made. Ball made. A little tricky, no matter which way you go. The, the 410 is tied up. One ball's not in, in a great position. Uh, you do have the three to get to it. I think but I think, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think Roman's doing it right here. Ooh. Can you see past that one? That's sticking out enough. No, uh, he can see past the one. I'm looking down the barrel. He can get to the 11, or he can, got, I think yeah, he can take right. the 15 ball. Yeah, he's straight in here, but. Can he he's get it? Yeah, he's I'm going to try to draw over for the 13 next if I can. Oh, oh he tried to he really shoot swung that. swung at that. He, he swung hit that, at it. He hit that on the total wrong side. He swung at it. It didn't go, unfortunately. It's got lucky. Chris doesn't have a whole lot. He's got the five ball to shoot at. Hey, thanks, Rob. We appreciate it. We certainly do uh, put in the time and the effort. We want to always put our best foot forward here. But we appreciate the compliment for sure. You can expect a lot of that coming out of Q Sports Live. Let me tell you, we're uh, we're going to take what you've normally uh, been acclimated to uh, to seeing us here at Q Sports Live, and and uh, we're going to raise the bar a little bit. We're working on a, on a few things. The league is certainly one of them. Uh, some new cameras, new equipment, new things kind of coming out of the gates. And uh, we're going to take this whole thing to a brand new level. So Chris deciding to play back, play the safety. I uh, can't tell quite if Roman's on the 11. If he is, it is dead straight in. Uh, although if he can see it, he can pot it, and they'll have the uh, the 14 ball sitting up there as a duck. Well, he's got the. F I think he can see most of the 14 right now if he wanted to back cut it. I kind of like that because then it breaks the 10 out. The only problem is if you miss, you've now broke up the table for your opponent. Although with the 11 sitting there, the one's still uh, an issue for Chris. Regis, what's going on, my good man? He just has the 12 to this bottom right as he's looking at it, but. Indeed, and for those that don't know, uh, Regis, this isn't Ben Francis sitting beside me. We have a, a I, I, I'm going to call you a guest, but you're pretty much part of the Q Sports Live furniture. Mm -hmm. um, that's Ryan Epp. I had some uh, some technical difficulties in trying to uh, to get Wirecast to uh, get working, and so uh, I had mess messaged Ryan last night. And actually, we had this kind of plan even anyway, before yeah, last yeah. night. But uh, no, I'm glad you were glad you were able to make it down yeah. <laughs> before we had to start well. because I could not figure out why Wirecast just was not working. Well, and again, for anybody new that came up, I did sell Ben and Grant my shares at Key Sports Live. Yeah. So it'll be them going forward. I'll maybe sit in the odd chance I get. Yeah, absolutely. In town and um, still maybe work out a deal for me to stream the CCS major events through them. They got a chat and see if that's something they want to do. Yep. But I will be streaming, still be streaming all the CCS major championships events across Canada going forward, whether it's Dunder Q Sports Live or something new. We'll have to see. Yeah. And uh, Ryan's actually got a few things going on for himself. Uh, health is, is more or less under control. A few, uh, few little things left, but uh, for the most part, it's back under control, back healthy again. Uh, and then you've got uh, another page that you've started up. Um, and camping. every time, yep. man, I can't, I can't ever remember the name of the page, but I know it has to do with camping. Yep. Um, and you've done all kinds of media coverage and news articles. Oh, it's gone and crazy, yeah. Yeah, and you've, yeah, that page grew fast. That started at the end of April, and I got, it's coming up on 61,000 members. Yeah. So it's Crownland Camping, Alberta. There you go. Is, and I started up back in April just because most of my friends are campground queens. Yeah. They oh, nice shot from Roman. Sorry to interrupt you. No, no worries. And uh, they, uh, to what Crown Land is, it's backcountry camping. It's all the public lands that you can camp on, so there's no services way back in the mountains. And I, I love doing that, so I created the group just to find some new camping buddies because a lot of my friends won't leave a campground. I'm sick of paying to go 40 bucks a night to camp in a campground two yep. feet 
beside your neighbor. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, yeah, I started that, and it, it was growing at over a thousand people a, a day for quite a while. They have yeah, done multiple TV interviews and radio. They had me on a radio call-in show with people asking me questions. I guess I'm the I'm the now the go-to guy for, for Crown Land Land, in yeah. Alberta. So, working with the government through that page now, doing some stuff. So, yep. Well, Roman looking to close uh, close escrow here. Yeah. I think he's got some nice angle. Uh, he does have a little bit of angle on this 11. He can go two rails out, or he's he can kind of punch in and draw back out. He's frozen at eight, though. I don't, I don't think he's quite... No, he's got some space. He's he? maybe got a, uh, a quarter inch in between those two. So it's a really shooter's choice. Two rails out, or the nice punch draw. He goes punch draw, didn't quite get it. He got the punch, forgot the draw. He, he definitely got the punch, <laughs> not the draw. So here it is, the shot of the match right here, right now. Chris is up off of his seat, walking back, going, come on, let me have one shot yeah. at this table. He's going to watch that scratch, too, going by that five. Oh, I think he's going to plug right into that five ball. He's looked at that already. Yeah, that's if you're hitting it dead on, you've mishit that, that's great. That's Indeed. He's, gives you uh, something else to think about. It does, and it adds uh, that, that that blind back cut, cut into the to a blind corner. Always, always a little bit difficult. I think if you're half a tip below center, half a tip above center, anywhere in there, you're going in that corner. Yeah. So you got to put top or bottom. He's looking at bottom right. Top throw that eight ball towards that pocket. Yeah. Here it is, the money shot. Just caught it thick. Watch out, side pocket. Ooh. Oh, and I think that four ball still goes. He's sitting a little bit difficult, though. Okay. He's got a tester for their uh, yeah, for the starting or for the his opener. I okay. don't know. Can he see the four? I think so. I start on it off the eight if need be. Yeah. If he can see it, that's the start for sure. Uh. Uh, he's okay. He don't, he's, he's bridging over the eight, but uh, a rather routine shot should pose as no problem for, uh, for Chris here. Sits good on the five ball again. Nice, steady, easy shot. Yeah, just off the rail. He just, this will where he'll get himself to good shape here. Yeah, you don't need to overhit it. Just nice little roll up. And again, stun just off the rail. Leave yourself some angle on the three ball. Go mid table. He's going up. And we can have a... He oh, no. Up. Does he get lucky? No. Oh, no. maybe. I think he might have him. Well, no, as soon as uh, as soon as soon Roman approaches, he's not even taking his cue. He's going to have a look first. I'm going to say that, no problem. Oh, it's that's that's tough, man. I think, I think even bottom right. You could, even to you got a mass A to make, right? Which is a cut shot, man. That's uh, oof. I don't envy his position. down behind it on his knees. Yeah. Taking a look. Chris can't bear to watch. He just walked away again. Don't think he's got enough. Can he mass it? I think he's hit. No, he did too much. Well, he got the hit. And put the eight ball down at the end rail. This is not over. Chris is going to have to put a punch on this one ball. No, I hit a good stroke and go back and forth. Yeah, me too. Put it with some confidence. Just a tiny Just bit of outside. Oh, you gotta go. He's got it. With a nice yeah, angle to get Yeah, he, oh, he's perfect. Nice little draw with right hand spin. Natural two, uh, two, rail. two rail around. He's going top and straight down. Oh, I like the two rail, not top. Needs to hit it. Not top. Well, hey, what's pool without a little drama? Gotta have some drama to finish this. I roll up and just double kiss it. Oh, that, that all day for me was two rails around. No, this one I roll up and just tap it straight on. 
He went for it. Oh, no. Wrong pocket. Oh, no. That's not the way that this was supposed to go down. No. That rough. was a rough way to end a good match. Good match between Roman and Chris. Roman coming out victorious, however. He gets the W. Wow. What a match, guys. We are going to do a quick shutdown restart. We will have the next match locked, loaded, and ready to rock and roll. Don't go far on behalf of myself, Ryan Epp, and the rest of the Q Sports Live team, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Don't go far. We will be right back. Table seven.